Hi, Pastor Mark Biltz here, and I want to address uh, the question that uh, some people, or I maybe should say the comments that some people are making about this, hey, this total solar eclipse is not happening on the first of a lull. So, by the way, if you missed last week's show, Mr. Biltz was claiming that the, the solar eclipse was taking place on the first of a lull, and that this was uh, obviously in, in accordance with God's calendar, and therefore this is obviously a sign. And this is kind of what he, he based everything on. Let's keep going. Well, uh, what I want to address is that whole situation uh, to stop all the naysayers. Uh, and so I'd like to begin with the fact that what happened about 2,000 years ago, uh, the Christians told the Jewish people that they could no longer sight the new moon or they would be killed. And so what happened is they decided to go back astronomically and set it uh, what it should be. It's called the Hillel calendar. Uh, and so they knew science. They knew the stars. They knew astronomy. And so 2,000 years ago, they were able to create this calendar that hasn't changed in 2,000 years. Okay, so... Um, Can you, know, you say 2,000 years one more time? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. So, so no, what, Mr., what Mr. Biltz says here that the Christians told the Jews that if they sighted the new moon, they were going to be killed. Now, so first of all, 2,000 years ago, that's... Yeah, so the Hillel calendar was made in the, th in, in the third century uh, CE. And developed over many centuries. And developed yeah. over many centuries. Um, I went back and, you know, I thought this was a fantastic claim and, and, uh, and I wanted to see if there's any validity to it. Now, I, I'm, I would be happy for anyone to bring, and we have some people in the chat room um, <clears throat> and that, that might be able to alert us to this. I looked and to see if there was any historical claim that I could find of the Jewish people telling the Christians that if they sighted the moon, new moon, they'd be killed. I couldn't find it anywhere. Not only that, but from what I found, and I, you know, I asked my father if he knew anything. I did some research myself from what I I'd found. Never, I've never even heard that. I haven't either, but the, that's a myth. The, yeah. So the, so the Hillel calendar was created because of the dispersion. The Jews were in all different places and there was no temple. And, uh, the, the sighting of the new moon was not just, uh, some, any, any old person going out and saying, Oh, look, it's a new moon. That's not how it worked in the, in the first century when the temple was, was standing. Uh, there was all these debates between, uh, Pharisees and Sadducees and well, not only that, not only that, the Jews were not the only ones with the lunar calendar. And ba the Babylonians were still keeping a lunar calendar. There, there was, there's a lot of lunar sighting going on. There's a lot of stuff going on in the larger cultural context. This is, yeah. I, but, but once, 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 hang on. But once people were, once uh, the temple was destroyed and the, the full dispersion happened, guess what? There wasn't a central authority figure sighting the new moon in Jerusalem for everyone to be able to to uh, to say, "Oh, okay, now's the new new moon." So what did they do? They attempted to standardize the calendar. It had nothing to do with Christians persecuting Jews, at least not that I can that's, find. That's I, I can't even believe it. I, I don't even know what to say. Anyway. So so I mean the 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 fact of the matter is is that Bilt starts his rebuttal. Uh, on, on a bad note to start with, because historically, I, I think he's wrong. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to share and like this video, and don't forget to hover over this round thing and click the subscribe button. That way you'll never miss another video from The Robin Caleb Show.